Kate Beckinsale 4K PVC. Already saw you in the original Underworld in 4K. You looked a bit grainy, baby, but still beautiful. Now, Blood Wars. Brass tanks. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax, in this bitch. You already know. You already know. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I've been bombarding you with Harry Potter reviews and all my other reviews. I've got to remind some of you who the king is in this bitch. Spare change, I'm watching you. AR Media, I'm watching you. Metal Crip 89, I'm watching you too, brother. HDR channel, I'm watching you too, goddammit. Just playing. You know, I love you guys. In case you guys don't know, they're on my uh, Team Brass Tax featured channel list here. Check them out, they're awesome. Not as awesome as me. But it was nonetheless. I'm not going to talk about the movie. There's already another video where I talked about the movie. I'm not going to do an unboxing because there's already another video where I've done the unboxing. I'm not going to talk about 3D because I already did another video with a 3D in this bitch. We're going purely on the transfer in this bitch. Shot in 6K. As far as I know, visual effects, 4K. Digital intermediate, 4K. Dolby Atmos sound. So this transfer has a, a bit of a blue tint to it because that's the way it was shot. And it's primarily shot at night. I don't even think there's one daytime scene in this bitch. And it's Sony. Beautiful transfer. It really is. The detail is A1. It's one of the first things you notice. Secondly, you notice is the depth. There is a real good depth of field. You can definitely see layers upon layers upon layers in this bitch. The pause up close, the hair, the wrinkles, the pupils as well. You've seen all kinds of details. I know they're wearing lenses and shit. Your boy don't wear lenses. I know people been asking. No, these are natural, bitch. And you can see the pupils, everything up close. Uh, hair, textures on clothing, the shininess on the PVC. Listen, Kate Beckinsale, you top five now. PVC, baby. With the blue tint in the darkness. With the shininess off your ass. God damn. One of the main things I noticed with the HDR is that you do notice the wider colour pretty much straight away. There is a tint to this movie, but there's certain nuances, especially there's a scene where there's just chaos everywhere. Someone is walking towards a gun to pick it up and you see all the debris on the floor. And the debris has detail. You see the little subtleties in the colour that only the HDR can pick up. HDR is amazing in the fact that even if something's got a certain look to it, it can still show out differences of that bitch. It really does. It's a great, great transfer. There's highlight moments where the HDR is really flexing its muscles. There's a scene where a vampire gets unceremoniously killed with one of them bullets. Are they bullets with daylight in them? Or I don't know what they are, right? But one of them bullets, it got shot and she got fucked up. Like she, this vampire got fucked. Not literally fucked, but fucked all the way up in this bitch. She kind of exploded, got the blue light coming through and you know, she was just deteriorating as she got shot. That shit looked beautiful with the HDR. When you're watching this, you're definitely gonna know you're watching a 4K transfer. It looks really, really good. A couple of problems with this bitch. Uh, number one is, because the transfer is sharp and it's clear, you do notice green screen in the background. It's not super noticeable. It's not as sharp as what's going on in the foreground, right? So you do notice that. And another thing is, some of the CGI looks a bit suspect. Some of it does, a little bit. I think it was just the way it was done. When they change it to werewolves, they kind of shift a little bit. And you're looking at you can see, okay, this CGI quite clearly in certain parts, but it's not going to ruin your enjoyment of the film. I think with the Underworld movies, the CGI has always been a bit off in parts. So what can you do? Now, because this movie was, it's pretty much a dark movie, black levels are very important. And the black levels were superb in this. You notice every little thing. It's the best version of the movie you're going to get. Anyone who comes into the room with you or is going to notice that you're watching a superior product, 100%. Brass tax, seal of approval in this bitch. Anyway, guys, look, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. 1,300 strong. Let's keep going in this bitch. Take care. I'm going to catch you guys soon.